regardless of your shape, your color, or your oh, race. For beautiful. God does not look at your bodies, nor does he look at your face. Rather, <laughs> he looks towards your heart and checks your faith. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Esther and you're welcome back to another reaction video. If you're coming across this channel for the first time, you're super welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop any beautiful video on this channel. And to all of my amazing subscribers, you guys are so adorable. So now guys, I'll be reacting to the greatest woman spoken word. Without no further ado, let's dive into the video. Hmm. You know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. Hmm. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless. When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is. And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them. To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic that we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive. It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic. And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics. 7 in 10 men view porn while over 75 million are addicted. 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making 1 in 4 searches sexually related. It's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked, degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views. It's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty. Mm. Which is so misconstrued it's true. as we judge each other's looks off of Facebook likes, Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like. See, we are so obsessed with our outside, we have slowly lost sight of who we really are mm. in real life. I mean, it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem. Looking at these magazines thinking they have to look like what they see. Please, you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen. You are a living, breathing human being. Yeah. If only you knew what you really mean. Yes. Just look into your history books and begin to read. Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve, and you will surely see with certainty, mm. females like Fatima al Fihri, who opened the first ever university, Rufayd al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery, and Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity. Mm. It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. Yes. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual. You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth. Mm. You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth like Mary the mother of Jesus, mm. chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers, a woman who stood strong even when she was abused, falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do, so it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her, for she knew that God was Ar razaq and her ultimate provider, and she had a trust in him alone. Mm. Just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, a woman who was brave and courageous, stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this, a woman who was fearless and laughed in the face of death. Wow. For she gave up the riches of this life for a palace in the next. Next up, Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the Prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life, and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is. Beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, 
the master of all women in paradise A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra The splendid one with the most generous of hearts a woman who gave up so much of her food she had no choice but to fast She would fight on behalf of her father even as a little girl And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world And it had nothing to do with how they looked but for who they truly were hmm. So ignore the standard of success defined by society When God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety regardless of your shape your color or your oh, race for god does not look at your bodies nor does he look at your face rather <laughs> he looks towards your heart and checks your faith so at the end of the day it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are when you can be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of allah that's good that's the his greatest own. woman that is needed. Wow. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Seriously. Nudity does not bring purity. Instead, purity belongs to those that cover up. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Beauty is not when you expose your body, but beauty is from within. What you carry inside of you expresses from what is outside. You don't have to dress nudity before you can actually be who God says you are. You need to actually identify yourself. I, I see those people that expose their self to those that, that, that lost their identity. Because when you know your identity in God, you'll be able to, you will know that you are not being defined by what the society says, like you said. You are not being defined by, by what the society calls you to be. Because some persons, when they dress decently and modestly, the, the word might not even give them thumbs up, truly. But when it is exposing their body and all, they get a lot of likes. And a lot of persons get low self-esteem and driving themselves to nudity because they want to, they want others to appreciate them. They want to get accolades from others and they want to make it like others. But nudity only brings you to vanity. When you, when you open yourself to nudity, you only expose yourself to the world. You only expose yourself to vanity. You expose yourself to nothing, like you are nothing, because what is preserved, what is covered, has more value, has more meaning, has more quality than what is exposed. Like even if you want to eat, you can't take your food outside, open it because flies will come on it. Different animals, ants can go into it. But you get your food, you prepare them in the kitchen, cover them up and eat them out. That is what we're talking about. You have to preserve yourself as a woman, as a man, as a child, as a girl, as a boy. It's better you preserve yourself, know yourself, know your identity in God. And pray if you are yet to understand your identity, that God will reveal yourself to you, that you don't need to follow this word ethics before you can be who you are. I believe you enjoy this word because I really do. This spoken word is like I'll react to more of him. If you like me to react to more of him, drop what you like me to react to from him at the comment section. Don't forget to check the videos I've reacted to from him. I, I reacted to um, the meaning of life, Muslim spoken word by him too. That was so meaningful also. Don't forget to check that out. I will drop that as a suggested video. After this video, check out my playlist on No Muslim Reacts to some videos. you see that. After this video also, check other videos from this channel. Subscribe if you are yet to subscribe. Please subscribe. Give this video a massive thumbs up. Share to family and friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Signing out. Ciao.